uh, I, uh, hi, I, I don't, uh, Ria here. I don't want to add anything. I just want to clarify that it is no different than having, uh, you know, running same SQL in two different programs. Like Carson doesn't, Carson doesn't add anything here. That is what I want to clarify. Correct, correct. Cursor doesn't add, uh, add anything, but now it is processing, right? So cursor also going to place the cursor. Uh, cursor is also going to process the table data only, right? Okay, that time we'll uh, I think yeah, yeah. If, if both programs are like uh, they set to isolation level, uh, read only. Like both programs are trying to read, or the same uh, simultaneously. I think no issue in that scenario. Yes. Oh, that's what I was saying. Okay. It's totally yeah, yeah, yeah. marking mechanism. Isolation. Okay. Uh, isolation or not only isolation, we have a locks also. Okay. Uh, locks also, if you apply the lock on the page level, table level, then if, uh, as for that, it will throw a deadlock error. Otherwise, it is going to work. So, answer is for the simple question yes, we can do it, not a problem. If both programs are both uh, programs are adding the getting the same data at the same time, same meeting. Then we will get an issue again. Depends on the different parameters. Both are processing uh, select read only. Then it is okay. Next, if cursor name also same means it's okay. It's okay. Cursor name is okay. There's not a problem. Both are independent. Huh? Both are in different programs. I, I guess we are said that only. Okay. See, you can write uh, logical file name in program one, program two. Will it impact anything? No, right? Here also the same, no problem. Step so level. Which will get... Yeah, cursors are specific to programs. Like we cannot use same named cursor, cursor in same program, but in different program we can. Yeah, that's what. You can use same name in multiple program, not an issue. Okay, so it's just syntax, right? It is not actual physical content part. Next, which will take priority when reason time parameters even at job level and step level? Step level, answer is. No I job level. Overall, it couldn't exceed again job level parameters. Time at the job level, reason I guess step level, if I'm not wrong. Even if you are giving overall, like that, overall, yeah. overall, it will be on job level because yes, uh, that, the, that's the second we have mentioned. Minutes. Yeah, we if we have yeah two seconds, then if the first one is taking thirty seconds, then we have time. Uh, sorry, uh, two minutes. The first one is taking thirty minutes, thirty seconds. Then the other one will have time for uh, ninety seconds. Okay, what about easier? Like if we have mentioned in the first step for we are giving the first step time of 30 seconds and we are not mentioning any. No, that is not the question. Yeah. Okay, see. Okay. Okay, well, what you are giving is also you are explaining that is also correct. I have written a time at the job level and step level. Reason also I I'll, I'll have written job level and step level, which we are having highest priority. I am very sure that time will be job level priority. If you write time on the job, it is going to work. Highest priority goes for the time. Reason, I guess, first step. But you can correct me. Oh, yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, uh, hi, uh, this is Sanjay. Uh, I just want to add one thing. Region will also uh, give a priority on job level. Not uh, so yes, good. region will also take a priority of job level. Yes, that is correct. Yeah, so in that case, both will take job level priorities. Yes, correct. So whatever the values, whatever the values we are giving, so all the rest of the step should run within the given job level, region, time, parameter values only. Correct? That is the conclusion. Can you, uh, can you Actually, can you actually, actually time will be, time that step will be override to the job. Step will be override to the job. For time. Ah, for time. Sure. No, oh, Venkat, Venkat, the time coded, uh, let me answer. The time coded on the step and the time coded on the job card, whichever is more, which takes the priority. 
like let's say no 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 not like that if that is no, tape no, no, is no, there no, no. then it will override no 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 whichever like is more if we have left, coded it left, in if the left if, out if time we have coded let me answer okay the left left out time on the job card is compared with the time coded on the step whichever is more is considered for the step execution see i'll take example okay let me do it job i have given three minutes or two minutes okay but step is taking four minutes give me the answer simple job two okay i have given time two on job card Two minutes. I'm writing a rough syntax. Under step level, step is taking. Uh, I've given here time three at job level. So now, on together, will it take? So the entire job should execute within a two minutes. Okay, let's say this. I'll give better explanation. See. On job card, I have given two minutes. Okay. On step, I have given it three minutes, coded as a three minutes, but it took more than uh, two five two point five minutes. Now will it happen or not? Give me the answer. Just you say yes or no. no it, will it will happen. Yes, it will happen. It will not no, happen. It will not happen. It will not happen. It will not. Okay, Brijesh and Jagadish. What about others? <laughs> I think it will happen because it will happen. 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 It will and i use it to explain right i have seen multiple articles okay it is going to happen because you give 10 minutes doesn't matter but it should execute everything within a 2 minutes okay if multiple steps are there all the steps all together should take maximum 2 minutes not more than that okay so by that particular explanation by the our state okay i can say when well, i am this is my answer job is the job parameter value has highest priority means because whatever the value it is there based on that only the job is going to proceed yeah hi this is sanjay uh, so uh, i just want to confirm one thing uh, whatever you told that is absolutely correct because i have uh, seen the same uh, things in uh, like uh, ibm manual also they are clearly have written like job uh, whatever time parameter we will uh, mention in job Card that will be the highest priority. Yeah, correct. Next question. Okay, this is okay. Fine. Then this is, we might get directly answer if you go to articles. Let's go because we have put down enough time for this. Now, how to improve the Cobol program performance? Program using flat file as input and output. Anyone wants to take the question? Yeah. So we work done optimization. Then they might give the best answers. So we can we can improve the performance of the prog uh, Cobol program uh, while uh, with the help of release option we can. Where 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 is the release option compiler? Uh, release in uh, JCL. No no no. Okay, that is okay. Yeah. uh let's go no let's go with the other city let's say you are over having 8 years 6 years above and above here right i'm giving the question to you so what you know about cobol performance what you take care about the, you know in cobol for program performance point of view who are yeah we should for the nested if nested if condition if it is real like having my sorry so you take a general discussion this don't i mean this performance not specific to file not specific to something overall cobol performance how do you improve the cobol 
per program uh, you know, performance. Yeah, go ahead, Mesh, no? Yeah, if you're thinking them generally, uh, the loop, so if you have to go for, if you have to check, uh, sorry, yeah, yeah. If you have to go for the nested if, multiple nested if, instead of having those nested if conditions, we can, we have to go for the evaluate, which is like a optimized way of going for the, uh, that thing. Instead of having nested ifs, we can go for evaluate. And this is one point I have. I agree with you, okay. We can use search in, in place of search if you have searching an array. We can have statical in place of dynamical, yeah. and we can I use the uh, computational computational fields if you are having arithmetic operations. We can also okay. have some compiler options uh, which will help uh, to improve the performance, like uh, array. Okay. And there are a few options. Yeah, we can use. Okay, very good. Also, while accessing table, instead of trying to access the whole table or multiple tables, we can use view, like for optimized, uh, we can try writing optimized queries, like using views. Okay, fine, makes sense. That is still and, uh, I would like to, I would like to add another point that uh, if you are having a loop, suppose uh, in a module, you are having a condition, so the loop breaking condition must be optimized. So, for example, say you are uh, you are uh, fetching you, you are in, in a loop of fifteen occurrences. So, probably in some conditions, uh, you need not to check anything more. So, after ten occurrences, you need to break the uh, loop. So, in that case, it will be optimized. Okay, makes sense. Correct. I agree. You would structure programming. Don't use go-to statements. Uh, go-to should not be there. Yeah, go-to is not the best approach. Yeah, so we can think we can try to optimize, we can optimize in the and far from compute. So instead of linear search, go with the binary search and remove unused variables are there. If you are not using any variable in the procedure division, there is no need of keeping them in data uh, in data engine. Yeah, but uh, if the table is uh, really small, then why not linear? Then otherwise it will take much more time than expected if we go for binary for yeah, small tables. Yeah, that again. Okay, it's a generic, but if you are coming to the point like if data is a very less, very data is a more than go with the again we have to you know choose either binary or linear. Such depends on the con uh, context or content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, we discussed why we go for the dynamic static pool in Cobalt. We use speed and why we discussed already. Okay. So, uh, what is the answer here? Answer should not be the advantages. We discussed again. Okay. What is soft B? I skipped one question. This is, uh, yes, people can explore that. It's not a problem. What is SOC B? A SOC B is, uh, uh, it is occurred when, uh, during the computation, uh, whenever the denominator value is zero, uh, during that time we get uh, SOC B event. Okay. Okay. Any other answer? Divide by zero. Dividing by zero, you will get some B. Yep. Okay, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. Yeah, I'm going to the next question. Guys, this also you will get directly in the Google. Okay. So next, which version will be created if you have only GDZ base? If you give plus hundred while creating a new generation, it is different question right jdg base is there if you give plus and red uh will, will it work that is the question so i have to check it when i did not try so for this scenario we give plus one plus two when uh, we are creating multiple generations in the same job but he said that directly in the step one we are creating a generation directly plus and red will it work Will it throw error invalid generation creation? We need to try. Anyone having any clue here? 